hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today's video i am sharing how i recreated this wall art using things from dollar tree also i am participating in the look for less challenge that was hosted by yummy at the latina next door and her co-host for this month is liana from diy beauty on purpose i will link both their channels and a playlist in the description box below so be sure to check them out i found my inspiration piece on pinterest and it was priced for 240 dollars and 91 cents so i decided to go ahead and recreate mine for a lot less than that price mine cost only eight dollars and and 75 cents if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Antoinette I love crafting and DIY projects on a budget also I love all things home decorating organizing entertaining and more so if you are interested in things like that please consider subscribing and let's get started I picked up seven of these placemats from Dollar Tree. Then after I cut the tag, I bring one dinner plate and one salad plate. And what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna trace the plate on the placemat to create the small circle like this. Then I am gonna cut it and I will need to make two of this small size. And I am gonna repeat the same thing with the dinner plate to create the medium sized circle, which I will need to cut three of them. Now I have two full size, three medium size, and two small size. Next step, I will take them outside to spray paint them. I'm starting off with these three and I will spray paint them with this Rust-Oleum metallic silver. Then I have these two and I'm gonna spray paint them with this rust -Oleum fast drying black. <music> Lastly, I have these two and I'm gonna spray paint them with this rust -Oleum fast drying gold. And once they are all dry, I go ahead and hot glue them together. And I am using this new hot glue gun that I received recently from Chandler Tool. It's perfect for craft and DIY jobs. This is the small size. Uh, big is also available. I really love that it heats up well and it has a base and it stands upright. I will link it down in the description below for you in case you are interested. So now I'm gonna try my best to replicate the original one. So here is how I'm gonna place them. And once I like how I want them, I will go ahead and hot glue them down. And here is the finished product i absolutely love how it turned out super simple super chic i think this was the easiest project i ever did and it looks perfect above this console table i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did don't forget to check out the playlist like this video and share it and until i see you on my next one be well and have fun